Hello there, everyone. How you doing today? As of right now, as of the time I'm recording this, it is the last day of 2021, the 31st of December. Now, I hope you have an amazing new year. And for today's video, I'm going to be reading a story from the SCP Creepypasta archives, thus titled, Shy. If you enjoy, please like and subscribe, and... Check me out at the descriptions be uh, below. Now, without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Cow Julius Productions. Sit down, get comfy, and away your aura. The sudden jolt of pain was enough to make him think for a mad second that he'd somehow jammed his pen through his hand. The boy barely suppressed a shout, clenching his hand tightly shut and sitting up abruptly from what was a half doze. Eyes wide, he looked down at his fisted hand, then seeing no obvious injury, tried to surreptitiously look around for some cause or culprit. The room was silent save for the mild drone of the teacher tapping out graph points. Everyone was hunched over their desk, hard at work or attempting to look as such. The pain started to ebb, not vanishing, but smothering due to a dull, pressing ache. He bleaked, trying to affect an air of normalcy, as one of his nearby classmates gave him a wide-eyed, pale, fidgeting, a suspicious glare. One breath, two in and out. There wasn't any blood, but he was nearly too scared to look. His dad had told him the pressure was the key. Maybe if he'd let go, he'd start gushing or something? His mind rolled around like a rabbit in a cage, scrabbling between fear, confusion, and embarrassment. Should he just look? What if he actually was hurt? Somehow it felt like he'd been stabbed or something. But if it turned out to be nothing, the embarrassment might actually kill him. The teacher turned, the class rapidly assuming poses of legitimate and mock attention. The boy started, sitting bolt up to right in panicked reflex as the teacher's eyes held his, eyebrow cocking at his behavior, but gliding onto the next bullet point. The boy slumped, released and leaned forward, feigning a search for paper covering his throbbing hand with an arm, slowly uncurled his fingers and looked. The glass was suddenly raked by a sharp, choking scream, heads turned, mouth agape, a startled mumble of what the heck, wafting from the rear of the class. The boy sat, one hand clamped around his mouth, the other thrust as far away from himself as possible. Eyes as wide and rolling as a spooked horse. The teacher glaring a warning from the direction of the swearing. Swung his gaze at the nearly comical figure of numb shock in the middle of the room. Is there something the matter, young man? Bad dream, perhaps? A rill of laughter, snickering teeth, swapped gazes. Never mind the paleness of his face. The trembling of his hand. The teacher minded, eyes narrowing. Seemed like a good sort, but drugs maybe? Something was off. Are you alright? You seem a little... May I... Uh, may I use the bathroom, please? The teacher's eyebrows raised, the patronizing smile playing across his lips. The last resort of the put-upon student, the bathroom pass. Still, he did look a bit... off. And if it came down to vomit or worse, he'd rather it in a designated facility. Still, something was off. Why was he staring at his fist so much? Why the shaking? I suppose it could be arranged, but... What do you have there? Yes, in your hand. Come up here, let's see it. The boy's eyes rolled, flickering between the staring, mocking eyes of his fellows and the accusatory gaze of his teacher. 
He arose, shivering, his eyes drawn unwillingly down to the fist clenched low, away from his body, trying to ignore the odd pressure inside, the pinching, almost shifting sensation against his trembling fingertips. The teacher cleared his throat, extending a hand as the boy arrived at the desk. Giggles laced with shot and fruit, skittered behind him, his wide staring gaze fixed on the teacher's face. His fist trembled, raising with a dreamlike slowness a few feet before freezing it. No, there was no way. Not here, not in front of everyone. His mouth worked bonelessly, a creaking squawk eliciting a fresh rill of chuckles. Come on now, let's have it. I, I'm sorry, I can't. And he was running, bolting from the room. The shouts of the teacher and the laughing jeers snapped off as the door swung shut behind him. Feet pounding down the empty wide holes. The gray tile, the dented lockers, it all seemed mocking in its normalcy. A panting whine escaping his lips as he scrambled to the bathroom. There was noise somewhere down the hall, shouts of command, but all he could hear was blood slamming in his ears as, it, as he all but fell inside, tearing open a stall door and collapsing onto the toilet lid, gasping. He was vaguely aware of a voice very much like his own, but too high and laced with weeping, muttering no 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 no, like some nonsense charm. He looked down, but at his fist in his lap, shivering like some spooked animal, the fingers rolled open slowly as if pried open by an unseen force, voices outside questioning, confused yet commanding. It meant nothing. Not now, as his palm finally came into view. The skin of his palm spit bloodlessly, bulging at the sides. A poisonously green, watery eye rolled forward to stare with the broken pupil at him from the prison of his flesh. As his screams elicited a matching reply from outside the stall, the oozing pupil dilated with pleasure. I hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe, it helps the channel a lot. See you next time.